All right, let's get to business before the bell with CNBC's Sarah Eisen. And Sarah, Mylan is taking steps to calm uh, the anger over its EpiPen. Tell us about it. Yeah, that outrage only growing in the last few days. So Mylan came out this morning and said that it will reduce costs that some patients pay, a subsidy, if you will, uh, as much as $300 for the out-of-pocket costs for certain patients that need it and have trouble affording it. Also, Mylan's CEO, Heather Bresch, has been on CNBC this morning blaming the system and not her company. But importantly, Mylan out this morning not actually lowering the price. I believe we have a clip of that sound from the Milan CEO on CNBC this morning. Let's listen. No one's more frustrated than me. I've been in but this you're business you're for the 25 one raising years. The price, though. How can you be frustrated? My frustration is there's a list price of 608. There is a system. There are I laid out that there are four or five hands that the product touches and companies that it goes through before it ever gets to that patient at the counter. No one, everybody should be frustrated. I am hoping that this is an inflection point for this country. Our health care is in a crisis. And the big outrage, of course, is over that $600 price tag for two EpiPens, a nearly 550% increase from the price in 2007. The criticisms have come from politicians on both sides of the aisle, from Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton, who tweeted yesterday, EpiPens can be the difference between life and death. There is no justification for these price hikes. Then she posted a link to her Facebook page with a statement calling on Milan to immediately reduce the price Guess what? That tweet sent shares of Mylan stock plunging. In fact, the entire biotechnology index on Wall Street fell. A lot of these companies' stocks getting hit on this idea that during an election season, whoever will be the next president will tackle this issue of high drug prices. Mika. Sarah Eisen, thank you very, very much. Up Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.